Lawnmowers are a funny animal. You know, for me in my mind, I'll be driving my truck or working, whatever, and I'll see a guy with a push mower. And he's out there obviously working out of the back of his pickup truck, trying to get it done. Probably started from nothing, don't really have much, but just a push mower. Might look like me out there, just side hustling, doing what he can, right? Pretty cool. I see a little push mower. Then you have your different levels of push mowing, of course. You have your good push mowers, like my Honda, like a Toro Super Recycler, all-wheel drive Husqvarna's, stuff like that people buy. Put some money into them. Nice push mower. Get the job done. Do a nice job. Can't really afford the big stuff. Don't have a trailer. Maybe a place to store it. Get yourself a nice push mower. You're doing all right. You're getting there. You have ambitions and dreams. And I can appreciate that. Then you go up to your bigger level. You got your zero turns, your standards. You got your hydro or your belt driven walk behinds. You see those guys out there, nice trailers. Some of them are enclosed. I'm getting hit on. Hey, how you doing, Carrie? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. It's okay. <laughs> I'll edit it out. You're good. You need your yard done? I saw it. I saw it. Okay. Yep. I was checking on you because I haven't ever seen you, and I was like, hey, is she still okay? Yeah, I mean, I always leave early in the morning and get back kind of late for work and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'll get you squared away. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey. You know I washed your house? Yeah, yeah did you notice the backyard? I did not. I didn't charge you or anything. I don't want nothing. I just, I did it with a little bit of um, bleach. Came out, kick butt. Yep, see you later. So, where was I? She didn't even know I washed the house. She says she leaves real early and gets in late. Um, where is this thing going? Wait a minute. All right, sorry for that interruption. Uh, customer wants their yard done. That makes four today. So nice trailers, enclosed trailers, um, big mowers big price tag. I see those guys out there working and what comes to my mind is get it, get it, get it. They are getting it, getting it, getting it. They got the money, they got the financing, they got cash, they got accounts, and they are out there getting it, getting it, getting it. And my hat's off to them. I had a zero turn, open trailer, enclosed trailer. I tell you, if you're in the business, it's a great way to go. You get yourself a belt driven walk behind, or a hydro walk behind, or a stander, or a nice zero turn. Good, good way to increase your day's income. Um, of course, I always caution people against going into debt. Make sure your business can afford it, or you have a business model that'll work toward it. But then, then you have the guys with the broke down little trailer, lopsided. Maybe it's got wood sides on it and they don't even they don't even really hang on to much. Maybe there's a rope hanging on <laughs> hanging on the side of the trailer, keeping their trailers together. You know who I'm talking about. Two different size trailer wheels, one big one on one side, small one on the other side, no ramp, just a couple boards thrown in the back of a trailer that looks like it's made out of wood and rust. Nails falling out, driving down the road old pickup truck and what what do you have inside that trailer what do I see what do I see them guys cruising around mowing lawns making some money lawn tractors good old lawn tractors back before there were big old expensive machines and eight thousand dollar this and twelve thousand dollar that and you still have that breed of people that go out and they search for, they seek out, and they find old lawn tractors. And they repair them. They get them working. They get a piece of poo-poo trailer. <laughs> they hook it up to the back of their pickup truck. They had that little push mower back there. Now they got a lawn tractor. They fat, happy. Their legs are rested. Takes them a little while to get the yard done. 
They don't necessarily fit in all those yards, but boy, they are proud of that mower. They wax it, paint it, custom paint jobs, peel off the stickers, put their own business names on them, American flags, POW flags, moon disc rims, paint the rims black. I tell you, the lawn tractor crowd out there, I tip my hat to you. It's, it's not an easy mower, it takes a lot of time. But if that's all you got, if that's all you can afford, if it makes it so you get through your day safely, let's make sure the nails aren't really falling out of the trailer, then hey man, go get yourself a lawn tractor. And that brings me to an update I got for you guys today. A feel good story, a donation. A donation to Dan's vlog from an old man who saw an ad I had on Craigslist asking business owners management companies, managers of golf courses, hotels, anything big, a lot of property. My ad said, hey, I've raised money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital over the past few years, and I want to continue to do so. In 2019, I'd like to raise more money than 2018, which raised twice the amount of money as 2017 and 2016 combined. And if you have any old, large area, commercial style mowers that maybe need repair, that are sitting in your yard, that you would like to get off your yard, let me know. I'll swing on by, I'll pick it up, I'll restore it, I'll give credit to your company, to your business. We'll do a spot in your parking lot about your business if we need to. You get some free advertisement. I'll pick up a large area mower it won't cost me any money out of pocket. I won't have to take any money from my lawns or my pressure washing jobs to pay for it. The money will be able to continue to go to St. Jude. And I got an email. I got an email from an old man. Couldn't, couldn't hear when I called him. Couldn't hear. Everything he said was, what? You gotta speak up. He said he's got a 42 inch lawn tractor and it ain't making it anymore said it doesn't cut and if I can fix it I can have it I said well holy sheep shit I'll be right there so I haul butt over there in my truck grab my ramps my aluminum ramps I showed you guys a while ago I met the man we shook hands we fired it up I saw what the problem was I explained to him that I could fix it by simply adjusting the cable and buying a new belt and he said well Sonny take it and put it to use and thank you for what you do. And I said, well, damn, that's really cool. I said, is there something I can do for you? He said, nope. He said, I think you do enough. I said, damn, man, that was really neat. And we shook hands, he helped me load it up into my truck and I put it to work already. You guys remember that field I mowed? I'll link to it up here. I did it with the 21 inch push mower about two months ago. Well, I went there and I mowed it yesterday. Not on, not on camera. I just went there and I mowed it. And I was one of those guys on a lawn tractor working out of the back of my pickup truck that I see all day long. And I say, damn, that dude's happy. He's fat, happy, and dumb on that riding mower. He knows he ain't making as much money as he could if he had a zero turn. He knows it's slowing him down. He knows it don't really fit. But he don't care. He's fat, happy, and dumb. He's sitting on a lawn tractor. An old craftsman lawn tractor. Chugging along, mowing that grass. And that's exactly what I did. Let me show you this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can help me out with what this is, that would be fantastic. I believe it's pre-2000 because the belt I bought for it Said it was. <laughs> it was, um, the light's gonna kinda suck. Let me try to show you guys what we got here. So there's the label and I really can't make it out. It's so faded. He put a brand new battery in it. 
not too long ago. He put a new pulley on the deck at some point. He said, I don't remember when he said he did it, but he did it. Tires are holding air just fine. Look at that. Blacked out tires. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Kohler Pro 16 horsepower overhead valve, six speed transmission, seats in good shape, steering works. I adjusted the cable for the blade for tension. I got a new belt at Sears. Uh, I got a pre 2000 42 inch deck. So it said fits all 42 inch Craftsman mowers prior to 2000. So that's what I got. Front tires are holding there. Not sure what this cable is right here, why it's coming out. He must have something hooked up maybe to charge the battery or something, or maybe that's the plug for the lights. I have to adjust the brake. There is no brake. So when I drove it in here, um, I came in and I crashed because there was absolutely no brakes. I crashed into everything. <laughs> um, deck's in good shape. It cut that field like a champ. Let me show you guys the motor real quick. Let me get my coffee cup off my old lawn tractor. I'm still trying to get used to this gimbal. Kohler Pro, 16 horse. Air cleaner was in good shape. He had just changed the oil. He didn't bother to change the oil filter, but that's okay. He had just changed the oil. Fires right up. In fact, we'll fire it up. Cuts pretty good. It's got the uh, standard vibration of a riding lawn tractor, an older riding lawn tractor. You know, you got, you got a lot of wobble in the deck, but it cuts good, cuts damn good. Would I use it on my properties, my houses? No, not in these areas, but that field. And then I'm gonna show you guys something else in a little bit. So before we fire it up, let me show you guys what that mower did for me yesterday morning. So I mowed down my backyard yesterday because the county has not come. Look at this county has not come and did done the bush hogging anytime in some you know in a while here they haven't done crap that shouldn't be like that and it should roll all the way down and those trees in the middle out there right there those aren't supposed to be there that's the creek that's supposed to be free flowing water it's tidal and uh so i came back here with that mower and look what it did that's some serious freaking, I mean, that, that is honestly the height. It's kind of laying over from the wind of the, uh, the blades, you know, coming out the side chute. But that's pretty, uh, that was some pretty intense mowing with that mower. It did a damn good job. So I'm not sure why my gimbal's acting a little bit weird right now, but maybe it's okay. I don't know. The exposure's kind of off, isn't it? sun's kind of I don't know it's an iPhone just messing around iPhone SE so let's fire this thing up so you guys can check it out this will be a cold start has not been started brake clutch all the way down throttle up key
So one thing about it you may have heard, the engine sounds great. That banging sound was the deck because the blades were coming on and turning off with the engine. When I tightened the cable for the um, deck belt, whatever, the, there's no return spring to pull the pulley loose. So there's a spring that, that when you pull the cable, lift the lever to engage the, when you, the exposure. When you pull the lever to engage the blade, the, there's a cable that is attached down to the pulley with a spring. And the spring makes it kind of like a shock absorber. So you're not, so you could pull it, so the cable could be pulled tight, but if the pulley needs to bounce a little bit, the pulley can bounce on the, the play of the spring. Well, there should be return springs that will um, return the pulley back to the off position to take tension off the blade. Well, the return spring is not there. So I need to fabricate a little return spring um, to pull that back. Now, I can go in there by hand and pull that pulley off of the belt, which I forgot to do. Um, and then it would start and not engage the blade. When I engage the blades, it will not disengage the blades. There, the tension will be off. So like if you're rolling and you hit a tree stump, it will immediately stop. But um, that would be bad. But there's no tension there. So they eventually slow down um, from the, the cut. You know, the cutting, the grass, the friction of the grass will stop the blades um, eventually. But I need to do a little fabricating there. Um, but like I said, it did that field for me yesterday. Uh, did a fantastic job. Did a really fantastic job. Um, but that's it. We're going to put it up. So uh, what he didn't want anything. He don't want any recognition. He doesn't own a business. He's just an old man on a farm. And I don't know how he found me maybe a family member or something, but I really do appreciate what he did and we will put this thing to work. Uh, that is for sure. One way or another, we're gonna put this mower to work. Um, and I'm also in negotiations with somebody for a walker mower. Um, a walker mower, uh, you know, with the front deck, little back wheel with the big old plastic thing. Uh, somebody was talking to me about that. You don't wanna give it to me for free and I don't blame them. But we're talking about possibly doing some trade-off at work. Um, so we'll see. Uh, again, a retired guy and his father just passed away uh, in the past two years. And I've been noticing that mower sitting there. So I stopped, talked, and he's talking to his sisters to see because it, it's, it's all in the estate. So we're figuring that out. So there might be some more to come. Uh, but 2019 is going to be a pretty fun year. Um, you guys are just going to have to stick around and find out. All right, a um, little feel-good story. And if anybody knows what the hell model this thing is, uh, it's the 42-inch Craftsman. I know it's pre-2000 um, because the deck belt fit perfect. It's got a Kohler 16-horse overhead valve motor, so that model. Um, it's a six-speed transmission, and it does have, if you ask, it does have the dial for your deck height. So it's got the lever to bring the deck down and up, and that's it. To adjust the height of the deck, it does have that dial underneath the steering wheel, you might ask me. So if you're a craftsman um, or probably Poulon and a few other manufacturers that all come off the same assembly line, if you're a junkie and you know, please let me know. Uh, point me in the right direction so if I need parts, I know how to find them. Uh, anyways, thank you guys, and um, today, on our regular video, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out three yards and possibly pressure wash a driveway if I have time. So I will see you guys on the next one.